welcome back to our channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to be making some mini trifles. This is a sweet treat. It's one that you can make with the kids, especially since summer is right around the corner. We're gonna ask you guys if you can like this video, share it, and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. All right, let's go ahead and get into our sweet ingredients. All right, so the first fruit we're gonna be using today is strawberries. We're gonna dice up as much as we think we'll need. And we also have some fresh peaches. Now I've already diced one peach and I think I'm gonna be dicing the other one here in a second, but just in case I have it out, in case we, you know, we need it. And we have some vanilla cake that we've um, made ahead of time as well. Now, of course, you can use whatever kind of cake you like, depending on whatever fruit you use and you feel whatever kind of cake um, pairs with that, you can use, you know, change the flavors. But today we're gonna be using vanilla cake. And we also have um, my absolute favorite fruit, pineapples. And these are crushed pineapples, just in a can, so um, that's those. And we have finally some blueberries. And these are wild blueberries, which are typically smaller than your average blueberry. They're also more flavorful and they have more antioxidants. Now, also, we're gonna have um, some small little glasses that we chose for our uh, dessert today. Of course, you can use whatever container that you like, whatever kind, something cute. And um, you're gonna also need a piping bag, something to pipe your whipped cream in. And um, Ricky's gonna be doing that today as well as going over the ingredients for our whipped cream as well. All right, so I think that's everything. So let's get started. Let's go see what Ricky's up to. All right guys, so we're gonna get started on our um, whipped cream. We put our bowl and the whisk attachment into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes because um, working with really cold ingredients and tools makes for really fluffy um, whipped cream. So we're gonna get started by adding in our heavy whipping cream and we're using Kroger which we heard was the best brand to use. Gonna show them that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it has a whip on the container. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's so really thick. So how much is it we're using? This, this is two cups. Okay. Yes. And we're gonna use a fourth of a cup of um, powdered sugar. And we're also going to use Maybe a teaspoon of vanilla, but you know, we, we don't ever measure our vanilla. Y'all know we don't measure our vanilla. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. So you want to make sure you don't leave this uh, whipped cream, sorry, whipped cream, because it'll be easy to over whip it. So. Yes, we learned that lesson the hard way. We did. <laughs> Once before, we over whipped our uh, whipped cream and it did not turn out well, so. Right, so I yeah. think medium high will be best so we're going to start off slow so it don't splash everywhere okay but just just stop it and watch it you know mm -hmm. okay so this has been going for Maybe about a minute, so obviously that's not enough. Mm -hmm. So just want oh, to looking good. stop and watch it, you know, just to make sure. Okay, so I think all together that was probably, what do you think? Probably about a minute and a half, maybe. Yeah, oh, that looks good. The peak. <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> oh, yeah. So now we're going to put this in our piping bag and we can start to assemble our trifles. Yay, the fun part. <laughs> we'll be back, guys. 
All right, so now I'm just putting the uh, whipped cream into our piping bag. If you're gonna be using a lot, I would suggest using a bigger piping bag so you won't have to keep refilling the bag every, you know, five seconds. Cause we made that mistake. We made our key lime pies, our very first video. We yes. had a very tiny piping bag mm -hmm. and we couldn't even do a little dollops around our little um, key lime pie. So. so this is our piping bag with our whipped cream in it. All right, so obviously this is not a plant-based dessert, but in keeping with variety, we do want to make things on the channel that everyone can enjoy. And we don't always eat everything 100% plant-based as well. Right. So, um, although we are incorporating more of that into our diet. So we just want to be conscious of that. So, yeah. And this is a um, mini version also of a bigger trifle that we had made. It was a hit. Yeah, our family really liked it. So we yes. was like, I wonder how this would taste with other fruits. Mm -hmm. So that's when we kind of thought to do the mini uh, trifles. Yeah, because the first one, just we just had strawberries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. And this would be a good recipe for kids to make, you know, especially with summertime coming. You can get them in the kitchen, they're home mm -hmm. from school. If they have a sleepover or something like that. Yeah, this could be like a like a slumber party activity. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get cute little jars for them. And it's like, okay, you know. Okay, each pick their individual fruits, what they like, and mm -hmm. make their own. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. Kids love messy things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they could potentially make a mess with this. But it's pretty easy, though. Right. So I could just see my grandson loving to do this, so. Mm -hmm. I know it would be fine for kids. Just so, make sure their hands are clean. Yes, <laughs> make sure those little hands are clean. Of course, we always make sure our hands are clean. If you see us in the video, we don't have on gloves or anything. Our hands are always clean. Right. And of course, if you're making these for someone else, you want to make sure you have on gloves or use a utensil. Mm -hmm. So, and also um, about the layers, just explain that to them, Ricky, because you were. Yeah, I don't know if y'all noticed. I know the videos are going kind of fast, but. When we made the uh, strawberry trifle, we didn't uh, press down on our layer, so we had a few gaps mm -hmm. on the side. So after I did that one, I've just been kind of spinning the glass, checking the sides, mm -hmm. and making sure I press down and fill in those gaps so you don't have any, you know, air pockets or whatever. Right. So just be mindful of that when you're making your trifles, unless that doesn't bother you, and you know that'll mm -hmm. be a way to eat less. Yeah, you're just having fun. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> and also, if you're doing uh, something and if you want it more um, perfect, like a perfect design, you want to make sure you check the sides often and like lean your fruit up against the glass. And like she said, make sure you um, don't have any gaps or anything like that. And just consciously check what you're doing mm -hmm. when you're putting it in there. So. And that's another reason why we chose to pipe our whipped cream instead of just kind of spread it on there. Just for presentation, we thought it looked prettier so right. that's another thing another corner you could cut if you don't want to if you're not too concerned about presentation yes and also um i want to mention kids can use ice cream with this if they don't oh, want to yeah. do the whipped cream they can mm -hmm. always use ice cream you know if they want to because most kids love ice cream mm -hmm. <laughs> there's so many ways you could change this uh recipe up yeah so many fruits and different things you can put in it or syrup or whatever whatever mm -hmm. they want to do so we're gonna finish this last one up and then we'll be back to close out the video for you guys. All right, y'all, so here are our finished trifles. We love the way they turned out. They're so pretty. Yeah, they taste just as good as they look too. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe if you have not already. Yes. And to also click the notification bell so you don't miss our next upload. Yes, thanks you guys so much for joining us and we will see you all on our next video. Bye. Bye-bye.